In this presentation, you will learn which energy source is considered the most efficient. But first, you must understand the meaning of efficient. The meaning of efficient is achieving maximum productivity with minimum wasted effort or expense. Efficiency is measured as the ratio of useful output to total input. This can be expressed with the mathematical formula R equals P over C, where P equals product and C equals cost. In other words, the amount of useful output that is produced per the amount of resources consumed. So what is energy efficiency? Energy efficiency is using less energy to provide the same service. It is a way of managing and restraining the growth in energy consumption. Something is more energy efficient if it delivers more services for the same energy input or the same services for less energy input. An example is when a compact fluorescent light bulb uses less energy than an incandescent light bulb to produce the same amount of light. The compact fluorescent light bulb is considered to be more energy efficient. This is because it uses much less energy to produce the same amount of light. For all the talk about solar panels being better for the environment, they are still notoriously inefficient, or were until now. Australian researchers from the University of New South Wales created the most efficient solar panels ever. These new panels convert 46% of their sunlight energy into electricity. Typical rooftop panels, for example, hover around 15% at best. As stated before, solar energy is 46% efficient and growing. As technology improves, so will its efficiency. The pros of solar energy are that it's renewable, it never runs out as it comes from the sun, and it produces no pollution. The cons are it's expensive to start up, solar panels take up a lot of space, and it's unreliable as it constantly needs sun. 46 doesn't sound like much, does it, right? It's less than half. Traditionally, power plants usually use heat to create steam and move turbines. Those turbines generate the electric current. I bet you're as curious as I was about which plants are more efficient than 46%. But these solar panels are actually doing better than a lot of other plants. To calculate efficiency of a power plant, you take the output power and heat, you add that together, and then you divide by the total amount of power produced. Essentially, you are accounting for the fact that burning fuels is hot, and you lose a lot of heat in that power transfer. So let me give you an example. In the US, there are over 1,400 coal power plants burning this fossil fuel in an efficiency of about 33%, meaning two-thirds of all all the energy produced from a coal power plant is lost. The next energy source is coal. Coal is 33% efficient. Pros of coal are that it's cheap and very reliable. Cons are that it's non-renewable, it creates pollution and greenhouse gases, and mining can be dangerous. Nuclear energy, also measured by the previous equation, ranges from the low 30s into the high 40s, with the best, most heat-efficient plants topping out at around 48%. As technology improves and the population has become more interested in environmental protection, both coal and nuclear have become more efficient. But if we're honest with each other, which, you know, we're being new, so we try to be, making the plant perform better isn't easy. Instead, a quick solution is to take that heat exhaust and loop it back into the plant. This conserves those extra BTUs of heat rather than letting them float away into the atmosphere. Some plants do this to conserve energy and heat as much as they can. They also help burn the fuel more efficiently or fine-tune the plant to help keep it in tip-top shape. Nuclear energy is only 30 to 40 percent efficient. Pros of nuclear energy is that no greenhouse gases or carbon dioxide is produced. It's also very abundant and it's refueled yearly. Cons of nuclear energy is its high cost, it's very dangerous if it goes wrong, and it's long-term radioactive storage. Unfortunately, wind power they're kind of the big loser outside of commercial solar. But even with that, they're running anywhere from 25 to 50% efficiency. It really varies depending on the design and the location. Offshore wind farms run more often than onshore ones, but the efficiency depends on how hard the wind is blowing, how much of that wind power the turbine can harvest, and so on and so forth. As technology improves, they get better. Lots of Next up is wind energy. Wind energy is 25 to 50% efficient depending on the model. As technology improves, so will efficiency. The pros are it's renewable, no emissions are emitted, very affordable, little disruption of ecosystems, and it's abundant as it's wind. The cons are it's dependent on wind speed, and it only works well in windy areas. It also has a high initial cost. 
This also informs the winner and champion of all these power generation solutions, hydroelectric. The biggest hydroelectric installations can get a 95% efficiency, and the smaller ones can still hit 85. 85 Hydro has approximately 95% efficiency. The pros of Hydro are, it has no emissions, it's very reliable, and generates a lot of power. The cons are ecosystems are destroyed, dams are very expensive, and possible drought can occur. Another pro is that it's renewable.